Oh, good morning, my YouTube family. Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. If y'all haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to go down there and click that subscribe button. And if you liked the video, give us a big thumbs up. Have you ever woke up in the morning, getting ready to go to work, and you walk outside, and guess what? You got a flat tire. Well, I actually let the air out of my tire because we're going to show you uh, how to air it up. Anyway, uh, let me flip this camera around and I'll show you what's going on. So, as you can see on the old mighty Titan here, we have a flat tire. And it is flat, flat. Zero PSI. And got a little dog pee on there. Uh, Remington come out here and washed it for me before I got ready to do this video. Get all out and let all the air out. And uh, you can see it is flat. And then I got the old handy air pump. Uh, no, we're not going to use that pump. That would take forever. I'd be huffing and puffing. Uh, but I will say this. One of those foot pumps have actually saved me and got me home before uh, with a flat tire. I was out shopping. Somehow I got a nail in my tire. And uh, it must have been a pretty bad leak because... Uh, when I went out to, to go back home, the tire was completely flat. And uh, I did always carry a plug kit with me, so I did go ahead and plug the hole there. But the only air system that I had was this foot pump. And it got enough air in the tire that it got me home. So it, in, a, in a tight pinch, a foot pump can save you, you know, as far as getting you to where you need to go to get more air in your tire. But that's not what this video is about. We don't have time to be pumped with no foot pump. So let me get the other one. It's right back here. And it is the CSPSCN air pump that we're going to use to actually air this tire up. Now, I'm going to get set up. Uh, I think I'm going to try using my auxiliary battery. And I'm going to take my solar panels out. Even though there's not a lot of sun this morning, we have rain moving in. I'm going to set those up and get everything uh, hooked up. And then we will see how long it takes this pump to tear up that tire. Okay, y'all have to excuse all the background noise. We do have railroad tracks around us here where we live. But anyway, I've got the air pump hooked up to the tire. And it's just a screw-on type fitting. This is the pump. It has a handle. It's pretty hef hefty. And you have your gauge. Your on-off switch is down here. And this also has a flashlight. And there's your switch for your flashlight. Enough to help you see what you're doing when you're changing a tire or something. I'll turn that off. Now, I've got mine plugged into my auxiliary battery back here. And it's at 12.9. I do have my solar panel plugged in. And the battery is down just a bit. But I've got 13.5 volts at the solar panel. Now, I could plug my plug into the truck and uh, turn the truck on and have it running for extra juice. Uh, if I was going to hook this up to my battery in the engine compartment, you have these that plugs that come with it with the pump. So you clip onto your battery and plug in right there. You have an extension hose, which I'm not going to be using because it, the hose there reaches my tire. And it comes with these attachments and an extra fuse. So I'm going to try to beat this train coming. And we're going to go from zero up to about 40 pounds. So I don't have a, a clock with me, so we'll just time it with the video. 
So let's turn this on. And a lot of people say that you really should turn this on first before you hook it up. But this time we're not going to. Here we go. It's pretty quiet. They say after about 10 minutes, you should let it cool down. As flat as it is, I figured it would take a while. I really thought it'd be a lot louder than it is. Now this is a dual piston. It's slowly going up. Everything's cool right now. See the tires starting to get a little more air in there. It's going up. I really like how quiet it is. That's way quieter than my Stanley Fat Max. I've used that Stanley Fat Max so much that it's actually getting louder. I have a feeling it's starting to get on its last leg, and that is one reason I went ahead and bought this air compressor. Now we got PSI is in the red, and bar is in the black. When you're on the trail, you're never gonna air, you know, air down your tire completely like that. And that's mainly why I got this, is so I can air down and then, you know, air back up, but I'm only looking 10 to 20 pounds. I'm not looking a complete air up, like this would be 40 pounds. These are 10 ply tires, low range E tires. Yeah. Here comes the train, so y'all just bear with me. It won't be here long. Nothing's hot. It's only in the 50s outside.
doesn't shake a whole lot, although there are rubber feet on the bottom of this. Let's go see how my battery's doing with the load on it. Yeah, 10, see my battery's not charged good. So this is on a low battery. So we still got 10 pounds to go. I'm gonna stop it and I'm gonna start the truck and put some charge on that battery and see if it helps. Okay, I plugged my wires in, so I should be actually charging that battery off the truck. Let's see if this is any louder now. Sounds the same. And daily my battery's not getting charged. Okay, so since my battery was down, my auxiliary battery was down on charge, and it didn't seem to be charging with my cable, uh, I may have knocked one loose inside the box, but I'll, I'll fix that later. So I went ahead and I hooked my extension hose up because I do need it to be able to reach the battery that's in the engine compartment. So I hooked up this little fitting that they gave us and plugged into it. The truck is running. Now let's see if it sounds like there's more power. Oh, sounds about the same to me. You don't need much more and it'll be where it needs to be. I know I messed the time up on this, but I wanted to see if being on a stronger battery helped, and I'm sure it does. So I'm going to take this off. Now, I couldn't do this with two hands. This says it's about 39, but that's close enough. So it does air it up. Maybe the time, uh, I'm going to have to go through the video and... Uh, calculate how long it actually took to air it up since I stopped it and hooked it back up to this other uh, battery but uh it's not hot it didn't get hot at all so you know the only true test is time you know uh, using this to air up and uh, on our trips 
and just see how long it lasts and if it can take the abuse and that was a pretty good air up there and it did it didn't seem to grunt at all and I really couldn't tell a difference in the sound from when it was hooked up on a fully charged battery and when I had it hooked up on this battery back here so from what I can see right now that little compressor is going to work just fine I'll put the Amazon link in the description uh, that way y'all can go check it out it's going to work just fine and nice little carry bag so it's easy to uh, keep in the truck and uh, it aired that big old tire up okay since I kind of messed this up swapping the battery around I'm going to drop that down to 20 psi because if I was on dirt roads that's what I'd go down to about 20 and uh, then we will air it up from 20 back up to 40 but do you hear that rattling it's not like it's coming from this side yeah it's definitely coming from this side and I'd already thrown a something lay on down here now I've had this issue before and what it is is it's the skid plate on this gas tank As you see, when I touch it, you hear it rattling. And when I touch it, it changes. Now I actually bent it up one time where it was hitting in the front. And I bent it down and fixed it. We definitely rattling. Right there. So I'm gonna have to bend that down so it'll quit rattling. That's annoying. So bonus, Nissan Titan owners. If you hear it rattling under your truck, check your skid under, on your gas tank. Now back to airing up the tires. Okay, so I aired this tire down 20 PSI. That's when I checked it with this gauge here. And I plugged it back into the battery in the engine compartment with the truck running. And let's turn this on. It's, this says it's under 20. And we're going up to 40. See that the tire needs air the way it's sitting there.
So, so it'll air that tire up in less than four minutes for sure from uh, 20 PSI up to 40 PSI. Works for me.